Okay, let's take a look at Transformers Human Alliance on Technoparrot. So what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna start the game in windowed mode, right? And I've got my MAME debugger window open. So I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit so you guys can hear me. And I'm gonna show you a problem that a lot of Technoparrot games have. And uh, it's gonna be like what output is given when you're playing. So I hit start. Now I'm pulling the trigger and you can see that the gun motor, while I hold the trigger, gun motor for P1, is kind of fluctuating, but not steadily. It's kind of random. So what happens is if we put our uh, MAME hooker I, &I file, if we take a look at that, if we go ahead and put my recoil command into gun motor one, so that it responds to that. So you can hear the recoil is really inconsistent. It's randomly doing a half kick here and there, really weak, really sporadic. Um, just, it's, it's no good. So what do we do when we need to get a more consistent recoil on games where your recoil output is just a solid number or a barely fluctuating value? So here's how I do it. Okay, so there's this great thing called key states. So here's my edited Transformers Human Alliance INI file. And you can see I've just taken everything out of the gun motor and CTM recoil, I've just left it all blank. And down at the bottom, I put inside a square brackets key states with my desired refresh time for that key state. And then um, I've taken a tip out of uh, Dean Sharkey's book and repurposed the Y and U keys to be my player one and player two recoil. So that way, when this game launches, anytime the Y or U is pressed, it's going to initiate a single recoil, okay? Now you might say, how is that helpful? Okay, well, that's where Joy to Key comes in. So Joy to Key, I have set a special uh, profile in Joy to Key that is Techno Parrot Recoil. And what Techno Parrot Recoil does is it sets it so that the guns, guns one and two, so here's my first gun, Button one is sending Y, and it's doing an auto repeat of eight times a second. That means you can just hold the trigger and it's gonna keep pressing the Y key at a rate of eight times per second until you let go. And it's the same thing with the player two gun. The player two gun is the exact same setting, but it's just sending the U key also at eight times a second. All right, so this is a special profile. Now, instead of associating this with a particular program, because I might want to utilize it for a few, and some Technoparrot windows are the same name as other, but I don't want this Y and U going off all the time when I accidentally hit it, and I definitely don't want it interfering with games that have like valid uh, outputs for MAME Hooker. So what I do is I actually wrote this into the, to the AHK that launches this game. I'll just edit that here so you guys can see it. All right, and what this is doing is, just like before, it's launching my Demol Shooter. This one's part, uh, pointing at you know the ring-wide Transformers Human Alliance. And then it's launching Transformers. But then I'm actually using a command line to tell Joy to Key to switch to the Technoparrot recoil configuration. And then on Escape, it switches back to my default Joy to Key uh, configuration. That way I can just put this line here, this TP recoil config line, and have it switch automatically to that profile, which has this sending the Y key, this sending the U key. And so when MAME hooker detects those keys, it's gonna do a recoil at a refresh rate of 25 milliseconds and a key press recycle of eight times per second. So I'm gonna show you that in action. I'm gonna hit start on both players and much better. And you can see it's picking up the Y as an output and the same thing with U for the other gun. Now, if I grab my keyboard and just press, so that's all it's doing is picking it up, but it's detecting key states now and we can set our own refresh rate on the recoil. Now with Supermodel or the uh, otherwise known as the Sega Model 3 emulator, uh, you can also leverage this uh, key states to get your uh, recoil working in games uh, that aren't sending the correct kind of output. So if we take a look at LA Machine Guns, uh, 
in order to get it so that MAME can hook a supermodel game, you just want to, from the command line, you just need to put an extra argument in. And that argument is, of course, supermodel, and then your zip file of the game you're launching. But you want dash outputs equal win. If you do this, then MAME hooker is going to see the game, and your MAME, I, your MAME hooker's INI file, you'll see a new supermodel folder. If you open that, then once the game is launched and it's hooked, it will create an INI file for LA Machine Guns. The problem with that is, we'll just open it up, is that there is no recoil or gun motor or anything on this. So I'm using my key states again. So I just inserted key states with the same refresh rate and the same recoil codes for my two guns. And on its uh, AHK, it's also launching my Joy to Key profile for Techno Parrot recoil. So it launches that. And then on exit, it goes back to my default profile one. So this is how you can get LA Machine Guns to uh, send full, uh, full uh, recoil on fully automatic games. And I'm gonna show you that right now. And there's recoil on LA Machine Guns running on Supermodel. The same thing to hardwire to a single shot game, like say uh, Jurassic Park on Supermodel, by making a, yet another profile for single shot. It's an exact copy of my recoil profile, except that the Y and U keys are not set to uh, auto repeat. It's a one-time press. You just uncheck auto repeat for the Y and U, and now you've got a single shot. But it uses the exact same key states and the exact same joy to key profile uh, switcher. So I'll leave a copy in the video description below of the uh, sample I and I with key states, as well as a uh, what my uh, AHK looks like where I'm switching between different uh, joy to key profiles. And uh, let me know you guys have any questions.